step into the time capsule of cinematic history, where colossal giants clashed amidst the roar of the silver screen. It was 1963 when the world held its breath in collective awe as King Kong vs. Godzilla roared to life. Picture yourself in that darkened theater, eyes wide with anticipation, heart pounding like the thunderous footsteps of these iconic monsters. The Clash of Titans, a spectacle so monumental it became etched in memory like a fossil in amber. Perhaps you recall the mesmerizing moment when King Kong, the mighty ape, emerged from the dense jungle to face off against the legendary Godzilla, an embodiment of raw, destructive power. Each roar reverberated through your very being, a symphony of primal forces colliding. The thrill of seeing these creatures, larger than life, locked in an epic struggle awakened something within you, a fascination for the extraordinary. But let's peel back the curtain and delve deeper into the world behind the scenes. Beyond the towering battles, did you know that the original Japanese version featured a unique ending, diverging from the version released in the West? It's these hidden gems that add layers to the experience, making you realize that every reel holds untold stories. Now, as we shine a spotlight on the lesser-known facets of this cinematic clash, be prepared to uncover random facts that might just widen your eyes as much as that first glimpse of Kong and Godzilla. From production anecdotes to cultural impacts, the tapestry of information is as rich and varied as the landscapes these monsters traversed. So buckle up for a journey through time and celluloid, where monsters reign supreme and imagination knows no bounds. Get ready to walk away not only with newfound knowledge, but a renewed appreciation for the classic clash of King Kong vs. Godzilla. After all, in the world of movies, every frame is a portal to adventure, and every detail has a story to tell. The 1963 movie King Kong vs. Godzilla stands as an iconic clash of two legendary cinematic monsters, King Kong and Godzilla. Born from the imaginative minds of different studios, the film melds the mythos of these colossal creatures into a thrilling spectacle that resonated deeply with audiences. In this unique crossover, the two monsters, each representing different cultural and cinematic contexts, are drawn into a battle that transcends their individual narratives. The film's distinctive style blends the awe-inspiring scale of their confrontations with a touch of campy charm, capturing the essence of the era's monster movie genre. This monumental showdown not only thrilled viewers, but also left a lasting impact on popular culture. The epic clash between King Kong and Godzilla became a cornerstone for future monster crossovers, and inspired a legacy of similar cinematic confrontations. As a result, the movie remains a significant chapter in the history of monster films, with its influence reverberating through generations of filmmakers and audiences. The Legacy of King Kong vs. Godzilla continues to remind us of the enduring appeal of colossal conflicts, where titans collide on the silver screen. Director's vision turned Monster Clash into media satire, King Kong vs. Godzilla Ishiro Honda, the creative force behind the original Japanese version of King Kong vs. Godzilla in 1963 had reservations about the colossal showdown between the iconic monsters. While the studio leaned toward a comedic tone, Honda saw an opportunity to infuse depth and social commentary. He resisted a straightforward monster duel and instead envisioned the film as a critique of the burgeoning TV industry's sensationalism, which was sweeping through Japan and raising eyebrows with its audacious bid for ratings. Honda's resistance to conventional storytelling led him to frame the film's core battle as a metaphorical reflection of the TV industry's over-the-top rivalry for viewership. The reason I showed the monster battle through the prism of a ratings war was to depict the reality of the times, Honda explained. He transformed a seemingly simplistic premise into a biting commentary on media manipulation and sensationalism, a sharp social critique veiled behind the spectacle of monstrous clashes. However, the intricacies of Honda's vision were somewhat diluted in the American version of the film. To cater to Western audiences, much of the satire and social commentary were streamlined, leaving the core monster clash more prominent. Honda's original intention of media satire resonates today, reflecting the enduring relevance of media's impact on public perception and its role in shaping societal discourse. In hindsight, Masaki Tezuka, director of Godzilla, Tokyo Sauce, recalls his childhood encounter with King Kong vs. Godzilla as a watershed moment. 
Tezuka vividly remembers the clamor surrounding the film's release. The theaters were teeming with eager moviegoers, and young Tezuka found himself waiting in line for a staggering two hours, an eternity for a child's anticipation. This early exposure to Godzilla's celluloid showdown left an indelible mark, a testament to the film's enduring legacy. As cinematic history unspooled, Honda's audacious approach turned a monster clash into a multi-layered commentary on the media landscape, overshadowing initial skepticism. His conviction to weave satire into the fabric of the colossal confrontation left an imprint, even if somewhat dimmed in translation. King Kong vs. Godzilla emerged not just as a mere creature feature, but as a cinematic commentary on an era marked by shifting media dynamics and an insatiable hunger for ratings, reminding us that even the mightiest battles can hold hidden meanings. King Kong vs. Godzilla unmasking myths in American edits in the realm of iconic movie monsters. Few clashes have captured the imagination quite like King Kong vs. Godzilla of 1963. This colossal showdown between two behemoths has left an indelible mark on cinematic history. However, behind the spectacle lies a tale of cultural reinterpretation and narrative tinkering that has shaped the film's legacy. While the film found immense popularity in the Godzilla series, its American re-edit sparked a wave of criticism from Western movie critics. They derided Japan's portrayal of King Kong, a character with deep American roots, as a comical figure. The dubbing, undertaken by American distributors rather than the original filmmakers, drew harsh scrutiny. Ironically, many critics were oblivious to the film's American origins, as this version was drastically restructured by American hands. The original Japanese version, intended as a comedy, underwent a metamorphosis that puzzled critics who missed the subtleties of its creation. Amidst the critique, a few discerning voices shone through. The La Times applauded the film's effects and comedic characters, recognizing the artistry that went into its making. Notably, the King Kong design earned praise for its Quasimodo-esque expression, a fitting touch that conveyed a certain charm. Universal's description of Kong as happily drunk added a layer of whimsy to the mix. Adding to the intrigue is a persistent myth surrounding the film's ending. While tales circulated of disparate outcomes in the Japanese and American versions, film historian Steve Riffle debunked this notion. Instead, he emphasized the extensive divergence between the two cuts. The American edit underwent a transformation that introduced new scenes, American actors, and altered dialogue, straying far from the original Japanese script. Amidst the towering clash of titans, a lesser-known martial influence colored the fight choreography. In one remarkable scene, King Kong tosses Godzilla over his shoulder, showcasing the strength of suit actor Shoichi Heroes. Interestingly, Haruo Nakajima, the actor inside the Godzilla suit, remained within during the toss, a testament to Heroes' prowess. The martial arts undertones extended further as Nakajima, a judo practitioner, lent his expertise to choreographing the fight. Decades after its release, King Kong vs. Godzilla continues to spark intrigue and debate. The clash between cultures and creative visions, coupled with myth-shrouded tales of alternate endings, highlights the film's enduring allure. As we revisit this monumental collision of cinematic icons, let's remember the layers beneath the spectacle that have left an indelible mark on the silver screen. In 1963, the cinematic clash between two colossal icons, King Kong and Godzilla, shook audiences worldwide. While this epic showdown left an indelible mark on pop culture, lesser-known details paint a fascinating backdrop to the spectacle. Perhaps the most intriguing backdrop was the movie's utilization of Toho's big pool. Initially constructed for a 1960 film, the massive pool spanned over 200 feet at its widest point, with a depth nearly as profound. Enclosed by a towering 50-feet concrete wall, it served as the aquatic stage for Godzilla and other fantastical creatures in subsequent films, until its demise after Godzilla, Final Wars in 2004. This film also introduced a notable transformation in Godzilla's auditory presence. The creature's distinctive, high-pitched roar emerged as a blend of its original 1954 vocalizations, expedited for effect. This alteration marked a conscious step away from the darker tones of previous films, fashioning an enduring auditory emblem for the monster that echoed across the Showa, Heise, and Millennium Eras. Amidst promotional efforts, Toho orchestrated an imaginative twist. 
Interviews seemingly held with King Kong and Godzilla took on the tone of sumo wrestlers priming for battle. This whimsical touch capitalized on the larger-than-life personas of the cinematic adversaries, adding a layer of playfulness to the fierce rivalry that captivated audiences. As we reflect on King Kong vs. Godzilla, it's these lesser-known aspects that deepen our appreciation for the film's legacy. The big pool, Godzilla's iconic roar, and the playful interviews remind us that even behind towering monsters, there are stories that deserve to be unearthed. In the ever-evolving tapestry of cinematic history, King Kong vs. Godzilla stands not only as a monumental clash of titans, but also as a testament to the creative ingenuity that shaped its every aspect. As we bid adieu to the grand spectacle that is King Kong vs. Godzilla, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of time, where the echoes of 1963 still reverberate through the corridors of cinematic history. This clash of titans transcends mere celluloid. It's a vivid canvas upon which our collective imagination is painted with strokes of awe, wonder, and perhaps a hint of primal fear. As the credits roll and the curtain falls, take a moment to pause and reflect. What strings does this monumental duel strike within you? Is it the thunderous roar of these behemoths that resonates with your own triumphs and challenges? Or perhaps it's the spectacle of two worlds colliding a reflection of the myriad conflicts that course through our lives. Whether you first witnessed this clash of giants on a silver screen or a small TV tucked away in a cozy corner, those moments are etched in the gallery of your experiences. Maybe you were a wide-eyed child, watching with a mix of terror and delight as Kong and Godzilla clashed, each an embodiment of untamed power. Or perhaps you stumbled upon this classic later in life, and its timeless appeal spoke to your inner adventurer, reminding you that even in the face of colossal odds, the human spirit remains indomitable. Now, it's your turn. Share your cherished memories, your contemplative musings, and your profound insights about King Kong vs. Godzilla. What emotions does it stir? What revelations does it spark? Let your thoughts flow like the mighty currents that carried these iconic creatures to their destiny. In the end, as we weave our own stories into the rich tapestry of cinematic history, we are reminded that movies are not just passive entertainments. They are mirrors that reflect our own narratives, our fears, and our triumphs. So, take a moment, dear friend, and let King Kong and Godzilla be the catalysts for your introspection. Thank you for embarking on this introspective journey with us, delving into the realm where imagination meets reality, where giants walk and legends are born. Your time and thoughts are invaluable, a testament to the power of stories to bind us across time and space. Stay awe-inspired, stay reflective, and keep the flames of your memories burning bright. Until we meet again on the next celluloid voyage, take care and remember every clash, every roar, every memory is a part of who we are. Reflectingly yours.